Another interesting part is the girl actually confessed to being sex, not by Rabbi Desha, but by somebody who is actually very closely related to princess, who is in police custody. Nobody is talking about it. Hi guys, you welcome back to New Face Entertainment. The popular Nollywood actor Yomi Fabi has actually made a shocking revelation. And you know, since this happened, everybody has just been concentrated on Baba Ijesha, Baba Ijesha. And while some other opinions has been coming out, while they were raising their alarm on the child. And now, since the actor has made another shocking revelation, uh, to me, it's like there is a cover-up somewhere but i want you guys to watch it to the end and give your whole opinion what is like from what the actor actually revealed in this video basically on the from the angle of humanity anything that concerns a child should concern all of us we all right. wants a child right. and then the onus is on us as a matter of fact constitutionally Every adult owe every child the responsibility to care for them. Children first. Mm. Even during war, children first. And of course, there are so many treaties, so many um, rules, regulation, laws, bylaws that have been done on children, protecting children, because they are innocent. That's right. We were all innocent. And the fact must be stated. Children, apart from the fact that they are the heritage of God, Children are the foundation of any society. Mm. And how we raise children determine the kind of youth we have and the kind of adults we have. So my position is clear and loud. I am against any abuse, all forms of abuse, mm. not to talk of abuse, molestation, rape, that has to do with children. It is devilish, it is evil, it is antisocial, and it is not acceptable. So it is a clear point. I am not in support. And whoever has done anything against children, I, am, I will never be in support of their evil act against children. Mm. However, we have to understand one thing. Naturally, that is me. Secondly, I hold my senior colleague, first and foremost, the responsibility to give him that benefit of a doubt. Okay. Because I have not heard from him, there, there was no evidence then and it hasn't been tried. It will be gross miscalculation and unnecessary conclusion to assume because somebody has accused him, I should just rush into judgment. Knowing fully whether anything, any actor, any celebrity that has been accused, even if it is just a slap, even if it is false accusation, it gets blown up. And that was the beginning. And when I saw it, it is reasonable for anybody to know that. Okay, this is a very serious offense. I am concerned about the minor. But the fact remains that I must not be too emotional to understand that emotions can lead to misjudgment. It is only when you allow the rule of law to take its course. And this is Babai Gesha. The last accusation we have of any actor is Baba Sumi, in which I play a very key role he is my direct boss. And if after a month plus, looking at how it all started with the first accusation with Babasui, and it ended up not Ill guilty, no single pin, no single pin was found on him. Mm. For a month plus that he was held in incarceration, my brain should tell me that if something is being accused to another Baba, whatever in the mm -hmm. industry, mm -hmm. who is also a comedian, the onus is on me as a normal citizen, a careful citizen, in a careful society to calm down and allow for the due process of the law since he has been arrested and investigation is going on. Mm -hmm. And that was what I quickly advised because I have an NGO on human rights called Break the Silence Foundation. Mm -hmm. I choose to do human rights. I, I would have just said, let me do food or let me do children, those easy stuff. No NGO is easy, but everybody knows that human rights is, a very, is the most difficult. Because even if it is your father that is of, uh, um, infringing on the right of the next person, you must not side your father. Mm. You must side on the victim. Mm. So, 
you attempt to have enemies. I am ready. I'm ready. Ready. I'm braced up for that. Mm. All I just want to do is, I want to be honest. I want to do the right thing by the next person, and I'm sure we all live in a very peaceful and serene society. Mm. That is what we all go abroad to enjoy. Mm. There is nothing we enjoy abroad other than that. They don't have good weather. They don't. Have, how many tourism centers are in the UK? But we go there almost every quarterly because the fact that the last person who respects you will treat you with dignity and respect. Even if you are accused, they will treat you like a human being. Until even if you are found guilty, your dignity will not be taken away from you except what the law says. That is why we want to go there because it makes you look like a human being. Mm. Mm. So that is my position. And so it is it is unfair for anybody to assume taking that kind of a position means you are unwisely supporting Babai Gesha and what he did. They should be able to separate it. I will never support what he did. Mm. But I have a moral right to give him his support that he deserves to a large extent that will not compromise my stand and principle as a human rights activist. Mm. Mm. And that I have never breached. But because of social media and because a lot of people, they brag about ignorance. They don't know anything. And they will tell you they know. And when you are joining issues with them online, offline, you will have this kind of misconception. But my, my positions are loud and clear. I am not in support of rape. Molest when I'm not even mental. I have done so many things on molestation, child. I have done. I've been to Lagos State Home to do charity with them to support the children. I have dedicated my life for the cause of humanity. I speak up when anybody is oppressed. So why would anybody think I will be happy? Anybody is being oppressed. I always think outside the box. And that is only where we can take Nigeria to the next level. And that is why I am still talking. A lot of people are still not understanding. Your colleague, he you. Um, as she, um, um, same reason, you know, with your position. Um, because all of this started last week. Between last week and now, does she have a clearer picture of where you're coming from now? Or both of you are still throwing fireworks. <clears throat> Look, to be quite honest with you, prior to that event, the other that I know, to what I know about her, to me, I don't know what she does behind, to me, she seems to be a very calm, reasonable person, very kind-hearted. She always even consults with me, she talks to me sometimes, okay, so this person has got, I had your putting up social thing, this one has problem, how can I come in? She's, I don't want my name to be mentioned outside. She will offer help she go, she can. Mm -hmm. okay. She see me as somebody that will always want to know what is going on with people and know the true position. Then she will always help. And whatever she's not, that is who she is. She, she is. But I was so, so sh shocked that she's, this lady is just a phone call away from me and asked me, you know what I mean? Why did you put up a post that we should allow the due course of the law before we judge? And why did you compare the case to the last one? Because I have seen this thing. Mm. I have seen this video. I have seen confession. I know you haven't seen that when I said it, but it's horrible. She mm. didn't do that. She just felt it's not necessary. Let me go out and bash your me. Perhaps because she's speaking from the angle of a pained victim mm. and a mother. That is, I always, I see sincerity in whatever anybody do. But when you go overboard, it becomes a serious melee. And immediately she eats me on social media. She, you've got a lot of following. You don't subject people to cyberbullying when you have not even taken time to allow them to know what is going on. And immediately she bashed me. People were beginning to tag me, blah, blah, blah. Oh, you are supporting me. You are a rape apologist. Mm. I take exception to such behavior. And she tried calling me. She called twice on WhatsApp. I didn't pick. And then I messaged her after I finished my call. I said, you're trying to call me. And then she was like, you me? I blah, blah, blah. She made a position why she was angry, blah, blah. I said, yeah, but with all due respect, I'm not living in your pocket. And I'm not living in your house. I don't know what you're saying. You should give your other colleagues the benefit of a doubt that they have not seen it. It's either you are up to something or you just feel everybody should see what you see. And they should believe you. Whereas you have not communicated what you're saying. Mm, mm. You know, I said, okay, I'm sorry. I said, and she messaged me, said, I am sorry for subjecting you to cyberbullying. But the video was not just about you. 
is by is about other colleagues that joined you in your position. I felt well, it's a personal opinion. I thought it would end there. And then suddenly, was it second third day? There was a, on the third day, the princess now did a video, gave account of the old stuff, crying, and it, it gathered another massive reaction. And then she felt the need that now let me now eat, let me join this train of a pain border. And then she came straight to my page and started attacking me and started comparing us together that she had, she's, best, she's this and that, that more than me, blah, 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 and let's go. I'm like, we've already concluded with Iron this out. We've almost apologized to each other and we've moved on. Why did you me? Why did you come back again? And then I'm like, you know what? I'm ready to join the with you. I'm still going to stand on my point that we should wait, allow the due process, let the police come up with charges. Then we will know whether what he is being accused is true because the video we're talking about is not that we have seen it online and I dodge. Yes. It wasn't leaked online, it wasn't released online. Police said there was a video. I haven't seen it. Or Baba Gesha himself gave account and I said, I am sorry I did it, forgive me. Is that a, that has happened mm. and I choose not to talk? Or he went to trial and the judge explained to him where he was faulty. And then I still refuse. That is where I placed or, or in between. There are options. But isolating my statements, stating that why should I demand for the video? Am I the one prosecuting my mm. If I choose to see the video, I either go to Baba Shadi, which video are they talking about, or I wait for his date in court. And if it is possible to play it, I'll see it. And I only explained, I said, that fact that you have subjected me to close to 6,000 cyberbullying, abuses causes for st stating what is right for a normal human being, then it's because you're not informed. It's not that the video cannot be leaked online. It's like anybody could have captured Baba Gesha doing it with a minor or the young girl anywhere. And after recording it, like, who do I show this? The yeah. best place is social media. Mm -hmm. You won't blame the person for posting on social media. That is the only way the person thought could that could help in getting justice for the young girl. Mm -hmm. So why on earth will you be assuming it was not come online? It was not no 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 no. It is only the media that will not be careless with it. If the media wants to now throw it out, they will censor it, they will protect the child, they will change the name, cover the face, and then probably blow the face. Mm -hmm. So I down stated and it became give give back give back forth and back and forth stuff and I'm like I'm not gonna be doing this with this lady because at the end of the day she is just ranting saying things that are not objective and I don't want to join issues with her and suddenly they turn to me because they add that I have gone to visit Mama Igesha. You don't you don't do that to human beings when you know the antecedents. I, I prefer I don't pray my friends or colleagues have problems. But because I know certainly that we are still working on the welfare of our association. Everybody is an, an entity. It is not easy for you to find somebody with stardom running for the other person when they are down. The kind of cooperation that is very, very peculiar mm. is the one that will not even hurt them. The one that will go will not go with sacrifice. Mm. They can easily celebrate you in the right. party, they know nothing will happen to them. But maybe a few, if I support you, my, my, there could be a stain to my name, or there could be a spiritual attack, they will distance from you. Yeah. But I don't want anybody to know that. So anytime I see such thing happening, I always have it at the back of my mind that I place myself as if I'm the only colleague, in case nobody actually showed up. That is my upbringing. Mm. That is what my mother did from the day one I begin to know who she was till she died. It's in the blood. It's not about fame. So I went there, I created time immediately. And I, I, I sought audience. Baba, I need to speak with him. And they told him, yeah, they said, okay, yeah, young family. It's not that we are close. He doesn't know where I live. I don't know where he lives. We are not, he hasn't shot my mobile, been in my mobile before for close to 18 years that I've been producing. He has never been in my movie. But I must respect that he's a colleague because mm. he has acted in movies that we have acted together. We have, we have met abroad together and he cared for me, I cared for him. We are one family. No matter what anybody says. And then, I'm not like, I need to see him and they brought him out. 
He saw me, he said, you mean, look at me. I said, sir, I want you to tell me in all honesty, did you rape the young girl? Because I, I was having images on my head. I don't want to believe he's the one. I was like, can you tell me, did you rape? He said, you know me? There was never a time I raped this lady. And this lady never said I raped her. I am not yet Ask the police, go and ask her. I said, the police said you confessed to the crime. And then the headline says, Babai Gesha, rape allegation. Hmm. What is in the video they are talking about and what crime did you confess to? Said your name. They showed me a CCTV after they banned me. They came in, they started beating me, torturing me. I was like, what happened? I said, and then they showed me the video. They said, come on. And they showed me CCTV, touching the girl. I said, how do you mean touching the girl? And honestly, he said, you mean? I don't even know. They just beat me. I know I wasn't detailing what I was doing, but I know what I did was not right. Mm -hmm. Because princess was, and I said, you touched the girl. And she's 14 years old. She said, I don't know her age. This girl is not, doesn't 14, but the fact remains that they started beating me. I'm like, why are you doing this? I don't want to die. I said, but you confessed. Then I haven't even seen the confession. Yeah. And as I said, they were beating, her, uh, beating him the video. I said, okay, no problem. Can I see the video? Police officer. The police officer said, I can't see it. I said, sir, can you tell me in detail what you did? said, there is no way I can remember what I did. Mm -hmm. But I know I touched the girl. I kissed her hand and I said, you know what? Don't tell me what you did because you might be dodging and telling me just to save yourself. Mm. Sir, let me see the video. I'll wait for trial. But please, be sure you didn't do it. Because if you have done it, I will be so disappointed. I will not be happy with you for the rest of my life. I said, you mean? I know. But please, the first thing I need is, I even need a lawyer. I said, has anybody come to visit you? He said, any of our colleagues said, no, only one person came. And it came on the instruction of Tampan president, which is the governor of Tampa in Lagos State, to ask for the situation of things. Oh, I said, the, the governor, the lady governor came. I said, yeah, she came and then she left. I said, I said, and I gave him some money. I did it like I said, let me know if you need the service of a lawyer. But I have somebody who's trying to get you a lawyer, one of our colleagues abroad. So I will speak to that person. You deserve to be hurt. And, and I left. Mm -hmm. I said I'll wait until I get a true picture. Mm -hmm. But because they heard that I was there, the now intense, the, the thought mm -hmm. I wanted to get is there, or I mm -hmm. wanted to say they shouldn't try it. How will I say police? What you have is not an evidence. Don't, I don't know what they've seen. I don't know what they have. It's, is it wrong for a colleague to want to know the true situation and use the moment of an early state to show more? I can't there's no way anybody will say it. I am still on the side of the law and I will never forsake anybody that I know that is good to me in time of trouble. I can't. I don't care the crime the person has committed provided I will not support the crime you did. But I will not say that is the end of you. That is not a death sentence. You don't condemn human beings and that doesn't mean I am still bitter. That a young child is there. I am bitter than this because I want to know what it did to that person. All those talking on social media did not make, they didn't even move an inch. I was concerned about the, the well being of that girl. And I'm asking him, he said, I'm not a fellow for her, you mean? This girl is, looks like an adult to me. We just, I don't know what came over me. I said, Sir, let me just go. And I left. Mm. That was where the attack, and then Princess released the video. When she now released the video, she spoke about how the investigation was done, how the lady confessed to rape seven years. Then it was at that moment, in that video, what Princess did, because they knew her being to Babacha or whatever, she now gave a report like Babacha did not have sex, but he only used key that year. Mm. The ladies are like, what the heck? Key. Seven years. So it was a key that they shall put that made the girl to start misbehaving in school, becoming a nifo. That's not even correlating. Something is going on. 
And I couldn't go back and ask. Are you having an affair with Christian? Because I don't understand. What's going on? I couldn't go back and ask. And I was beginning, beginning to like, wow. Is something fishy? Is somebody trying to bring anybody down? Whatever the case may be, I want to know. I went through the old footage. I saw the old process. So how can you call? How can a civilian take up this task? But I've not seen the CCTV. I'm patient. That is an oral account. I'm expecting that when the police see what you have done, they will interpret to you where ignorance will land you in jail. And I was waiting patiently. I'm not going to, I'm not going to judge him yet. I will still reserve it until he pleads guilty and the entire process and the entire document, documentary evidence before the judge are accessed and reevaluated. Mm. That was what I was waiting for until suddenly I saw the CCTV footage. I looked at this. My brother, brother people assume that when you complain first and you are trying to play victim, that should be the only direction the case should follow. Any issue that concerns children, there are specialists on them. And there are some people that are being paid salaries. That are trained locally, internationally, to state concerns of all the children in this state. If we truly want to live up to the status, Lagos State thinks it, it is. Now I looked at it and said, we are in a in a serious, serious, terrible time now. First and foremost, on no account should anybody use a child. How, 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 how are you able to convince a child who actually told you that I have been molested, I have been abused? Because it's trauma. The child could just run into a closet and begin to cry for days. It could destabilize the child. If the picture you have painted to us is actually true, how are you able to convince an innocent child to submit a body again for such remolestation? Knowing fully well that, number one, immediately you do that, it is set up. It is a criminal offense. Every adult hold the child the responsibility that on no account should a known predator have access to that child again. If I know you are a sex predator, if you are a philosopher, and I know a child is there, I should use the last breath on me to ensure that you do not touch that child. And that child does not have access to you. I should spend the rest of my life, everything I have, to ensure that no, you must not have, you must not take advantage of this child again. If you fail to do that, if you look away, if you speak any excuse whatsoever, all those excuses of, I, I want to get evidence. Who asks for the evidence? Because there is no way a child will tell you that I have been defiled, messed up. It's a criminal proceeding. There is no way in the law that says, if any crime has been done against you, now start looking for a way to defend yourself or to put... Just find justice for yourself. No! You tell the police and they will follow through. Because there is no way you want to actually gather information, get justice, that you will not hurt and afraid of other people's rights. It might even go wrong. And now look at the footage. The millions of Nigerians are eulogizing. They were not thinking like you planned with a minor. The reason why we are having terrible youths Complaining that we don't have good leaders is because our upbringing, our childhood is decayed. Two adults will stand together, they will be concocting lies, knowing fully a child is there. You see American movies. If husband and wife wants to start having an argument, and Nigerians want to accept that as a new normal, if I am silent about it, curse be on me. I dare, I dare challenge any adult who keep quiet on this, curse be on you. Children are in different hostels, schools. They will stay three months. If they are raped in the first month, they tell the teacher in the second month. Because a celebrity has experimented with a child and trusted on her, the teacher too will tell you, oh boy, 
Don't worry, I'll pull the camera and go and submit to your body again. You know, we need to be gathering evidence. Who are you? Who gave you the authority to do that? Ignorance is not an excuse under the law. And now, the commissioner of police did not talk about it with this level of experience. And service, I am, I am beginning to, I was almost going to throw up. Director of Public Prosecution, the Attorney General in Nigeria. I want to believe that some people are just, they are always on social media, they're not in library. If you stay very much time in library, you will get enlightened. You will read well. Not that you will spend time on social media looking for new pictures, clipping and doing I am not in that. That is not my fault. Here. And I'm beginning to talk on the, in this direction. That if you want a better country, you want a society whereby a child look at all those children in England, America. That's why the fact that low, there is no case of abuses. Everybody is paying attention. You must not have access. And I'm saying that the first thing, the first mistake princess made was to have involved the child in whatever investigation. I am not saying don't confront Baba Gisha. Did has been done seven years. The biggest and the most experienced expert in the whole world cannot unravel what happened seven years ago. Whatever happened today can never be connected. It's a waste of time. It is van letter. People are free to speak the truth. You speak the truth, you die, you don't speak the truth, you're going to still get vanished away. But what legacy are you leaving for the next person? That is why I always tell people, control your hunger. It's a premeditated crime. You brainwash the child. The girl will like, I don't want to go through this, but if she talks, she, will, she might be stabbed and she might be beaten. And they might even place it in her head, we are doing it because of you. It still boils down to the fact that you are actually playing on the innocence of that child. No child should be made to go through that in Nigeria. If you have said that, Nigeria is going backward. Because no country will stand still. Mm. You don't go forward or backward. Mm. If you have said that, you are going backward. That is my argument. The second one, from the CCTV footage, the Nigerians, the Director of Public Prosecution, the Commission of Police, will say, how can it be that it's the CCTV ended when you came in. When the girl ended when, when the baggage was touching the girl. Who controlled the CCTV? Because it's in the house. So it was it has been doctored. It was show you when you guys rushed in. Yeah. Definitely they are trying to remove themselves because they know they have committed a crime. They begin to touch up a baggage shop. Right before a minor, sir, picture yourself beating your dog with sticks while your son or daughter is there. You have already indoctrinated her in the act of brutality. That is why everybody is bitter. That is why every all they have actually not raised decent, polite, mm. nice, upright people. But does this? But, but does, does this Take away the fact that um, Baba Jesha committed a crime. Now, even with the um, CCTV footage. Of, of course, the only way it will become. I'm doing it, you know, I'm not, set up like you said. Yeah. I'm not a judge. Take anything away from. I'm not a judge. Morally, it is extremely wrong. I am disappointed. I am disgusted. I am not in support. I am disappointed in him. That is not too much for me to say. It cost it. But the fact remains that whether the judge will admit it as evidence or not, but the adults know that this is a potential philophile. Mm. They wanted it, they want to see a film of the philophile because nobody asked for it. Not the law, not the justice system, not the law enforcement asked for that process. They, I assume, because the court will tell you, where did I approve that you should go and do this investigation? So whoever done, has done that wants to see. And it's because the lady is not a child. If it is a child, it's not what she wants to see. Those people there, they are not interested in that girl. They have a plan. And that is for them to, 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 to conceive. But if truly you are the parent, and you are bitter, you are angry, you will not wait to say, I want to say child. You will confront your oppressor. What did you do to my daughter seven years ago? My daughter said my daughter wasn't lying. I didn't raise a lie. Whether he denied or he didn't deny, but you know that will be the last time you'll get close to my family. And 
that is it. And then you tell the police. You note it down. And you, those people, they will be on him. Police will be watching him. You will know. They won't prevent him. They won't set a trap for him. He will go into it willingly. You mm. won't know it's under surveillance. Mm. That is the normal procedure. The fact that you are not there to protect your child then. Don't start saying, I want to now look for evidence seven years. I said it and I said it again. But Nigerians are not taking in that direction. They are thinking she's smart. Anybody can blackmail and set anybody up. And that is why it is a criminal offense to set anybody up. Because it will be difficult to just suppose which one is real, which one is not real. So don't even go there. Mm. And which parent will subject the child to that? And you torture the child. You torture the wife before the child. You imprison him. And you are even obtaining statements on that duress. How will you feel if you are in a police station? A law enforcement officer, if, if anybody does that to you, it is a criminal offense. It will not be admitted under the court of law. I just shot a movie. Oh, you know, you need to see how I methodologically did the interrogation. Because I have a mandate. People just will think I'm just talking. Nothing is working in this country. How many South Africans have you seen coming to do to go to London, America? I want to do many jobs. They are in their country. Ghana is beginning to chase us away because they realize that we don't have values. They are chasing the country that has all the mineral resources in the world. What we don't have is our upbringing, our background stinks. Anybody does anything with children. And that is why I'm saying we need to use this opportunity to start setting the The end game is child protection law, child protection act. We need to upgrade. We need to sensitize. We need to make people to understand that each each owns becomes a state, becomes a country. So if you are not regarding children here, yeah? if you are busy children here, yeah? sex, sexual connection is not only sexual abuse. This lady is trying to correct one crime. She has committed nothing less than seven to eight crimes. Now, the social services did not ask. You claim you adopted this child. What is the framework? What is the legal framework for the adoption? Who is the social worker assigned to you that did not know this girl was raped seven years? Mm. Another interesting part is the girl actually confessed to being sexed, not by Baba Gesha, but by somebody who is actually very closely related to princess, who is in police custody. Nobody is talking about it. She made that confession. There is caught me. I said the police will lie. That somebody has been arrested because the girl confessed that Baba Gesha did not sleep with me. The person that has been exploiting me sexually lives with us in the house, there on my street, and they pick them and they are in party. So which justice system will look into the whole scenario and will now be focusing on what? It's the same law you are going to use for If it is truly you want to use the law, not social media trial. If it is a law, it must be touching on all the adults in that footage to teach them that you thought you were doing yourself a good. Ignorance is not an excuse. You have committed seven, eight, nine offenses. Go and face them. If they read your charges to you, whether you are guilty or not, go and defend yourself. Everybody is careless. A mother, a father wants to beat the wife who will be beating them in front of the children. It's abuse. Let's seize this opportunity to correct that.